What's up you guys, welcome back. So I wanted to give you another fresh, soft spring glam. Spring is here, so we gotta embrace it. I don't really do color that often, but when we do, it's fun, we have fun, we love it. But with me personally, it's just not my everyday thing. But when I do bring color, I just like to incorporate it in a way where I feel like anybody can wear this at any time, anywhere, any day, and you don't feel intimidated or you feel like it's too much. One of my favorite ways to incorporate it is in a nice soft wing, where it just kind of stands out on its own, but doesn't, overwhelm you. Even though we're stuck in the house right now, now is the time more than ever to step out of your comfort zone and just start playing with things maybe you would not normally do. So if you guys want to try something a little different, step out of your box like me, and you want to see how we got this look, then keep on watching. So I already prepped my skin with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Uh, I've been using this for a couple weeks now, maybe a month, and I feel like I like it. I'm not really sure yet. I feel like it does the job. Um, but I feel like I prep my skin so much with my skincare already that I don't really notice if my primers are really working or not. So, but so far, I mean, this is how much I've used. So maybe more than a month, but I really, really do like it so far. So I'm gonna be starting with the eyes first. I wanna do like a really pretty wing. So I like doing my eyes first for that because then I can kind of be a little bit more sloppy with the wing and just clean it up as I go. And then I get that really nice crisp look. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be digging into my single eyeshadow collection. This big bad boy right here full of all my favorite eyeshadows. This is from Adept Cosmetics. I got it off of Amazon. It was around $34. I could try to link it for you guys, but let me show you inside here. This guy holds, ready for it, 108 single eyeshadows. Oop, and I just got my finger into one of the pans. That's amazing. But this is what it looks like. It has a nice divider so that none of the shadows are touching each other when it's closed. And this is filled with all ColourPop, Makeup Geek, and a little bit of Anastasia. So if you guys would like to see like an in-depth look on my favorite shadows, we can definitely do that. But for now, I'm just gonna be picking out some eyeshadows to create a look. Okay, so far I have eight picked out, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna be using all eight. I just wanted to have a variety to see what colors I wanted to use. I'm gonna be using ColourPop and Makeup Geek, and I will obviously show you the shades as we go. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is actually this one right here. It's from ColourPop, it's called Hear Me Out. And I'm just gonna use my Smith 232. And I just want to give a nice, bright, soft base for all my shadows to work on. This is really great to kind of set that concealer, give it a nice base to work off of with the other eyeshadows, and make sure that everything is going to be smooth. So same brush, I'm going to be going in with this guy right here. It's called Say I Do. It actually kind of matches my shirt. Oh, it's so cute. Um, this is also from ColourPop. So again, same brush. I'm going to go ahead and start right in the crease. I don't wanna put a lot of color here. I do just wanna have a tiny bit because I want the color focus to be on the wing. But having a little bit throughout here just kinda of helps to make sure that the eye looks all balanced. And I think that just will be enough. Now grabbing this ColourPop E2 brush, and this is Chic Happens by ColourPop. It's a really nice, cool tone. I'm gonna to put this into the crease just to give a little bit of definition before again we start working onto the wing. I actually own a few ColourPop brushes and I was going through my brush collection yesterday just to see like I have a lot of brushes so I like to rotate them. I put them all in a little cup like this. So I rotate them so that they all kind of get <laughs> their own little bit of love. So I just put this guy back in here and I'm kind of upset that I even took it out of a rotation because this brush does amazing blend work and it's so soft. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is gonna be something really random, but I want to just add a little bit of warmth. So I'm just gonna go in with my bronzer really quick. Same color pot brush. I'm gonna go and just lightly dust over everything. Again, I want this to be not as much color in the crease I want it to be kind of like a neutral, but still some color. I don't even know what I'm saying. I hope you catch my drift. Okay, that is perfect. I don't wanna to add too much to the lid because I really want the focus to be on the wing. So now let's get into the wing. I am so excited. I don't know if I want, how I wanna do this yet. I think I'm gonna start with the lighter shades first and then build off of them. I figured out I wanna go into this. So I'm gonna grab this shade right here. Also kind of looks like the shirt I'm wearing. It's like a, I feel like it could go either way. 
That's so weird. This is my man's shirt, by the way. I love wearing his shirts. So I'm gonna grab this one. This is a Firefly, right? Yeah, no, Friendly. Oh, the other one's Firefly. This one's Friendly from ColourPop. And I'm gonna take this Morphe 506 brush and we're gonna start working on the wings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this color down. Again, I'm kind of sloppy at first because we have all of that time at the end just to kind of clean it up and give that crisp look. Again, why I like to do my eyes first. And I'm just gonna work this all onto the lash line and then just bring it outwards because it's gonna be winged out. And then just take your time building up the shade. A lot of light shades can sometimes be hard to build and blend up, but this right away, first of all, this little hair needs to do its own thing. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, um, light colors sometimes tend to take a long time to build up, especially more of like those pastels. So a lot of times you'll see people put like a white concealer down to really help this to pop. But I feel like these just pop on their own. I'm not trying to go for like a super electric pastel look. So doing it just like this is fine for me. But if you did want the pastels to really pop more on your eye, just go in with a lighter concealer. Um, or if you have like a lighter liner and you let that dry first and then you apply this on top, that will also work for you. Now I'm going to go in with this color. It's called Hopscotch from Makeup Geek. So electric. It is so pretty in person. I don't even know like if the camera will really pull this up, but same brush. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this right on top. If it, yeah, there we go. I was going to say if it really does make this a little bit brighter, but it definitely is. So just going right over that as well. So now we're gonna be building up the depth of the liner. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. These purples are so pretty. This is ColourPop 143, and I'm gonna take my Morphe E36 brush. Make sure it's wiped off really quick because I use this for a lot of like darker shades. And if it was black, I'd have been real pissed about that. Now dipping right into there. And I'm just gonna go closer to my lash line now because I don't wanna go over those two shades that we put down. So I'm just gonna tuck it as tight as I can right along the lash line, focusing, just pushing it in there. And I'm not gonna go all the way in, I'm just gonna go about halfway and really allow that first two colors to show through there and then just build this outwards. Now, as you can see, I'm going through a lot of different purple shades with the tones. You don't necessarily have to do that. Like if you have one purple eyeshadow, you can just do the wing like that. But I like my shadows to really just like have that depth of all different multicolors in there. I feel like it gives more to the eyeshadow than just having that one shade, but that's just me. So again, like I said, if you only have one shade, just still do it the way I'm doing it. You don't have to go in with all of these. I just think it's fun to do it and I feel like at the end it looks so good. So one of the last shades I'm gonna be using, this purple. So we're going a little bit darker, again, to really give that depth into that wing. This is from Makeup Geek, it's called Curfew. And I'm gonna grab this crown brush, it's just their deluxe, deluxe angled brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and just dip right into there. And I'm gonna now focus this closer to the lash line. So as you see, the darker we go, it's gonna be um, closer and closer to the lash line because I don't want this to be a dark liner look. I want this to be fun and soft. This will just allow that structure of the wing to really pull through. So now that I have everything where I want it to be, I think this is like the perfect amount of color for the wing. I'm actually gonna go back in with that first shade that we used, the Hear Me Out from ColourPop. And then this is the ColourPop E1 brush. So I'm gonna dip into that. And I just wanna go back over and lighten up the eye, just in the areas where maybe some eyeshadow, you know, got in the way of the brightness of my eye right here. And then it kind of helps just to kind of clean up that wing just a little bit more. I wanna do a little inner corner highlight with this guy right here. Oh, it is so pretty. This is from ColourPop as well. This is called Nectar. It has this really pretty like blue, lavender, pinkish shift to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and I'm just gonna pop it right on the tear duct just to give some more light 
there. And then it also just adds a little bit of that hue into the eye to kind of bring it all together. Then we just take the cleanup crew with a little bit of oil on a cotton pad and just swipe and get that nice crisp wing line. So before I put on some foundation, I want my skin to glow a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade three. I actually haven't worn this in a minute, but I love the way it just makes my skin glow and looks so beautiful. I self tanned like two days ago, so I'm a little dark right now. So I'm gonna go in with one of my darker foundations. This is the Hourglass Vanish Light Beige, my favorite full coverage foundation on the market right now, honestly. But I'm gonna mix it, which I'm like, where is my foundation? There it is. I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this Dior Skin Glow. This is in shade 2W. I just like a little mixture between them. And that is all I use for foundation is just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And I feel like the less you use, but when you concentrate it in the right areas, you get a flawless finish. I have a couple active breakouts at the moment. So I'm trying my best to cover them. They're right over here. They're kind of big. <laughs> I don't know what that is all about, but... I'm gonna have to do a mask later tonight. And I know this is kind of random, but I'm sitting in front of my window and I'm noticing so many people walking, riding their bikes, walking their dogs, playing with each other. And I have never, in almost two years of living here, seen this many people outside doing active stuff. So for my concealer, I normally go in with my Too Faced Born this way, but I wanna switch it up and try something a little different. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo. I've used this before in another video, but this is another color. This is actually the color Light Beige. So I wanna see how well this color works. The other one that I had is Warm, Warm Nude. I really liked the formula when I used it. It's just way, 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 way too bright, but it was the only color that they had at the time that was close enough for me. And then a couple weeks later, I went to a different store and they had more colors to choose from. So, so far I do like the formula. I think it's really nice, full, hydrating. Um, I didn't really have any issues with it. I feel like it does remind me of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. So for someone who's looking for a dupe, like, this is amazing. Now I'm gonna quickly contour, go in with my YSL Stick Foundation in B65 with my Refer 04 brush. I just love this formula for contouring. It is so soft, so moussey, and I just think it is just, I don't know, like it's literally my favorite thing ever. I did recently kind of find somewhat of a dupe for it, kind of in the drugstore. This is the Neutrogena Hydrating Stick. I really like this a lot. The only difference I would say between that and this is the Neutrogena one has somewhat of a waxy feel. And I noticed it when I accidentally put a little bit too much into my hairline, cause you know, I'd be pushing this right into my hairline. Um, and it made my hair so weird. And when I like looked at it, in the mirror, like, you know, up close. It was just like this waxy film. So I thought that was kind of weird, um, but I still really, really like it. I, It's not like enough to make me want to stop using it. But then once I went back to the YSL one, I really did feel the difference in the quality. But I mean, you just gotta like pick and choose your battles, you know? Um, I think they're both great options, but I will definitely be repurchasing this again because this just, Again, it's the, it's a texture thing. I really, really like this. All right, to set per usual my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. I've been trying to use other powders lately. Um, one in particular that I have, it's the Anastasia one. And I feel like every time I try any other powder but the RCMA one, like I just don't like it. But I do know that some celebrity makeup artists like to mix some of their powders together. So I feel like if I took this with a little bit of Anastasia mixed with a little bit of Laura Mercier, I think I would really, really like it. But I just love the base of this. But one thing that I do like about the Anastasia one is I love the highlighting it gives. It really, truly brightens up your under eye, but it's a little too drying for me. So that's why I'd have to mix it. And I don't use it that often because of that. So you know what? I'm gonna make that a goal for myself. I'm gonna mix 
up a concoction of some setting powders and let you guys know. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay bronzer. This is in the shade Sunkissed. I used this a lot heavily last year and then it went in my collection and I forgot all about it and then I refound it and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right where I put the contour. I think it's such a pretty bronzer color. I don't think I own any bronzers quite like this one. There's just something so soft yet bronzy and perfect. I actually just realized that I forgot to go in with my Charlotte powder. I like never do that before bronzer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is the Flawless Powder, it's in shade 02. This seriously makes a huge difference in your makeup. Even if it's just the slightest amount that you apply, it makes your skin, any skin texture, anything about your skin look so flawless. I cannot stress it enough. It is my, it is my Photoshop. So before highlighter, I'm actually gonna go in with some blush because the highlighter that I'm gonna be using has like this dual purpose and I really want my skin just to kind of glow all over. So I'm gonna be going in with this blush. It's actually one of my newest purchases. It is called Spellbound from Makeup Geek. I actually wore it in my last like video that I did and it is so, so pretty. I don't know why I've never owned any Makeup Geek blushes before because they are amazing. So I'm gonna go in with my Refer 05 brush and go ahead and apply it to the cheeks. And lately I've just been really applying blush. Blush is just the thing right now and I feel like I'm on board with it. It is so pretty just to give that nice flushed look. I'm a big fan. So for the highlighter, this is the one I was talking about. It is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo. This is in the shade After Sex Glow. Yeah, <laughs> I think I got that right. After Sex Glow, it is so, so pretty and pigmented and beautiful. So we're just going to dip into both of these. And I'm just going to go right over top a little bit of everything. I'm going so light-handed because I don't want any streaks. I don't want it to overpower. I just want this really beautiful, subtle glow kind of everywhere. And like I said, this is pretty intense. So the lighter-handed you go, the better. Just that really beautiful all over glow. By the way, I don't think I said it, this is the Morphe 510 brush. I love this brush for highlighter, although I need to get another one because I feel like, I feel like this one went to shit pretty quick, so. But I haven't found one similar shape to this that I really like, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and lashes off camera. I did just do an updated brow tutorial, so I'll link it for you guys above. So if you wanna check that out to see how I do my brows, go right ahead, but I will be right back. Okay, so now that we got the brows and lashes on, let's quickly set the face. Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This is a, a brand new one, and I feel like, I feel like the sprayer is different. This one really, really, really soaks your face. And since I just sprayed my face, I wanna add a little bit more blush. Um, I like to do this at the end just to really revamp it since it's always the first to leave. So for lip, I wanna keep this nude. I really want the eyes to be colorful and really stand out on their own. I'm trying to think of what nude I want though. I, I kinda want something that is neutral. So I was thinking about this one from ColourPop called Butter. It's one of my favorite colors ever. So I think that, or I was going between these two Maybelline shades, but I feel like one's gonna be pull a really warm and the other one's gonna pull really cool. And I just kinda wanna be like right in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in the shade 3C, and then just go ahead and pop that ColourPop lipstick in the shade Butter. Okay, yeah, this lip combo is exactly what I wanted. Again, I didn't want something to pull too warm, but I didn't want something to pull too cool. I just wanted it to be neutral so the eyes can shine. And it is so pretty. I feel like this is the perfect way to really incorporate color and to be fun without feeling like it's too much or it's too overwhelming. Purple is actually one of my favorite colors to work with in this industry because it is so universal. I haven't seen the color purple not work on anybody. Like, it is so beautiful. There's so many different tones of purples that you can go with. If you're fairer to your deepest tones, purples are just, they're just magical. They are the magic in the makeup industry. But I really love how this look turned out. It's just another really soft, fresh spring look that gets us in the mood for spring because spring is here so we must embrace it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite fresh, soft spring looks are and what favorite tones you like. I feel like I like it all, my soft pinks, my soft purples. And then once summer hits, 
those are fiery red oranges. Oh my God, I cannot wait to get into those looks. But this is it. That's all I have for you guys today. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos if you guys like to see more. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram. My name is Amanda Devon on there. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.